we've got an unboxing video to do. Stay tuned. What's going on, guys? It's the Middle Eastern Fragrance King, aka Neeb with Aromatics. Today is another unboxing video. We've got six fragrances here. All of these I purchased from fragrancebuy.ca during their Black Friday sale. So I got a lot of these for a steal, y'all. I haven't had any wearings of these fragrances yet. So let's go ahead and start with two of the ones that I already opened up. Now, all of these are from Paris Corner. Five are from the Emir line. And one of them is just Paris Corner original. So let me start off with the Paris Corner house. This is called Magic Oud and Kelly Matt. Now, I know a lot of people pronounce this as Kelly Math because of the obvious TH there. I don't blame anyone if they were pronounced it Kelly Math, but it's actually pronounced Kelly Mat. And in Arabic, it says the magical words. And then it says here the Oud of Magic, uh, Oud of Magic in words. So that's the exact translation, y'all. Let's crack this sucker open. And I'm going to tell you guys what I think. Let's see if I still remember. Here's the bottle. It's a nice cylinder with all of that text. And that's essentially what it says. It says, Oud of magic, fi means in al kalimat. Little translation class for y'all. And bam, bam. I kind of remember what I had to say about this. And it still stays true. So I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. What I think that this is, is Paris Corner's rendition of Ragba from Latafa. I find that this would be kind of redundant. Now, granted, it does have its differences from Ragba, but it's in the same family. When it gets to the later dry down, you're gonna feel like it's the same fragrance. This opens up a little bit more creamy and less oudy than the Ragba and Ragba Wood Intense and Amir Al Oud. It has less of an oud vibe. So I think for those of you who are kind of scared of the oud vibe and you want something that falls in that same Amir Al Oud and Dragba and Dragba Wood Intense category, but you're afraid of that oud note, this honestly would probably the, be the best one to step into at first. Because I find that the oud is a little bit easier to accept in this one than it would be in Dragba, in Dragba Wood Intense, in Mir Al Oud Intense, and in the Majd Al Sultan. So yes, out of those four fragrances, this is probably the easiest one to step into. And I will be discussing this in later videos with this exact same point. So let's move on to the next fragrance. And the next fragrance is called Fascination from the Amir line. This is a part of their Celestial series. And let me tell you guys that these presentations are just ridiculous. okay? Not ridiculous, ridiculous. Pull this sucker off and look at this, y'all. This was sub $30. Yes, you heard me right, sub three zero US dollars. This is heavy. It is no freaking joke, heavy, y'all. The cap is metal as well, so this is crazy. This is supposed to be a dupe of Zerjoff Richwood. Now, let me tell you guys what I think about Richwood. I enjoyed it. It's just kind of a little old school vibes for me, and it wasn't worthy enough of a purchase in my opinion. So let's spray this on tester strip, and I'll tell you guys what I think. Richwood also reminds me a lot of Coral Mandel, and <laughs> Oh, yeah, and I swear to y'all, man, this really does smell like Zerjoff Richwood. It also smells like Coral Mandel. There's a lot of patchouli and earthy powdery notes here. This is essentially what this boils down to is a powdery vanilla patchouli mixture. So if that sounds good to you, that's what it is. It's a very earthy patchouli with a lot of like musk and powdery notes. Basically, what I can sum this up to be is definitely and inspired by from Richwood, from Zerjoff, and 100% resembles Coral Mandel. So you have this musky, powdery, earthy patchouli along with some vanilla and possibly some ambers. This is a good fragrance. This smells really nice, but like I said, that patchouli powdery vibe here, it definitely takes this up a notch in the age suggestions. So fascination from the Amir line. Gorgeous presentation though. Let's get this next one open, and this is called Resurrection. Resurrection is supposed to be a Colonia Oud twist. Let's see, does this resemble Colonia Oud? Here's the presentation. You see it's the same exact box, just a different color, Celestial Series, Authenticity sticker, and on the bottom, there's nothing there. Let's slide this sucker open, or this redonkulous presentation, and the same exact bottle, just a different color, and then we have the same metal cap. Slide that sucker off, and I'm gonna tell you guys what I get. Here we go, let's prime this baby up. There we go, 
Oh, this is really nice. In the opening, I definitely get some bergamot and some citruses here. And then I'm also picking up a pretty decent amount of something herbaceous. And what I think that that is, is that coriander note in the mid of Colonia from Aqua de Parma. And it's pretty in your face here. Now, I don't think that this is going to be a body odor type of coriander. At this point in time of the fragrance, it is not. So yes, in that opening, I get some kind of orange bergamot and a large blast of coriander. At this point of the fragrance, it's not quite body odor like. But it's pretty different. This fragrance is pretty different. I don't regret purchasing this one. But at this point in time of the fragrance, this is rather complex. And I don't think it's something that I can just be like, I like this one or I don't like this one. This is probably going to be one of those testier types of fragrances. So I feel like there's a lot of clashing notes here. There's a freshness. Then you have oud. Then I kind of sense some sandalwood and leather. And then along with the coriander. So this one's kind of pulling me in a different, in a bunch of different directions. So... Is it good? I think it's pretty good as of right now, but that's one that's absolutely gonna have to be tested out fully with a full wearing. All right, with those three out of the way, this leaves us with the last three that we have here. And all of these are related because they're all a part of the inspired buys of the Killian. So I've been getting a lot of requests for these fragrances. I figured, you know what, what the hell, I'm gonna get them all and just get them out of the way. So. I already did a lot of Brooklyn Fragrance Lover and Angel Share dupes and all that stuff. And this is just one more to that list. So the list is never ending apparently, but it's okay because the people love it and I'm the man of the people. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this first impression. I'm going to do a full review. And then essentially what I plan on doing is having a full Angel Share dupe buying guide. And that's what what it's all going to have to come down to because there's a lot of questions I'm going to have to write down. It's like 50 of them and we're just going to answer them all. But first off, let's go ahead and start with when soul gets high. All right. So we have an intoxicated dupe. We have an angel share dupe and a back to black. I don't think that I need to look up and see which is which because judging from the scent, I'll be able to figure out. All right, so we have like this nice fake nubuck almost. It's not really a suede or any type of nubuck. And I believe you just pop that sucker off. And there we go. It's a nice matte black finish on the bottle. We have that gold plaque and the chain tassel. Uh, okay, I'm assuming that this is back to black because of the frosted matte black finish. On the bottom, we do have that Paris Corner sticker. And let's get it to focus. There we go. Very nice bottles. Very nice bottles. I know you guys think that as well. Heavy, heavy cap. Let's get this on a tester strip and I'll tell you guys what I think. I'm not going to go too far into the notes, but is it good or is it not? And this is back to black. This is not freaking bad, y'all. I had another dupe of this and I'm going to put the picture of it on the screen. And that one was a freaking nightmare. Don't ever buy that one. This is not bad. Cherry, the tobacco, and honey right off the top. There's a nice gingerbread undertone coming from that gingerbread note. This is actually really damn good. This is close to back to black. I'm going to tell you guys what though. I'm not a crazy fan of back to black. Sometimes I have good days with back to black and sometimes I don't. Saffron, the ginger, the honey, and the tobacco the best dupe that I've gotten my nose on for Back to Black. If you're looking for a dupe as of right now, I can say that this is the best I've gotten my nose on. Definitely a good dupe though. This is a great dupe. So if you like Back to Black, so far this has been the best version of it. Let's move on to the next fragrance. Fire Your Desire. Here we go. Let's get this sucker open. The presentation, authenticity sticker on the back and you slide this sucker open. Nice looking bottle. Very nice. Nice coloration as well. Pull this sucker out. It's really in there. <laughs> and all right, let's give this a spritz. Killian's Angel Share. Yet another take. A little bit of a twist, but they all kind of do the same thing, y'all. This is boozier than some of the other dupes. Definitely boozier. Not as spicy as something like Hamra. This is really high quality. Personally, I think that this is already higher quality than Kismet. Fire Your Desire is a really nice take. And not to mention, look at this. Look at this. This is really, really nice, y'all. If I had the option of picking this or Kismet uh, Angel, I would probably go with this. 
blind buying, of course. Now, I can't speak for the performance, but Kismet Angel for Men or whatever, it's really not that great on the performance anyway. So I could only imagine that this will probably this be the same worst case scenario or best case scenario better. So it's probably as of right now, initial spraying the better option, in my opinion, as of right now. And the last fragrance, y'all, you're drugged. Killian's Intoxicated is my second favorite right after Black Phantom, so let's go. I am very excited for this one. I did try a couple of dupes from the Dua brand for Intoxicated, um, and it was just too much. It was one of those cases where they took the same DNA and they added too much strength to it. And what essentially that does is it changes the DNA. So I'd rather take the same DNA toned down than I would take the same DNA toned up because once they tone it up it actually changes the entire fragrance so here we go let's see what they're doing with this very nice slide that sucker open and oh no this smashed oh man that sucks look at that y'all this is the little eh, not big deal whatever this is the little ball that's supposed to be on the tassel end here Okay, no big deal, whatever. Let's look at the bottle. Nice color juice, you're drugged. So let's see how drugged I'm about to be because I love this stuff. Middle Eastern vibes, coffee, cardamom, gorgeous fragrance. Just performance issues with that OG. Oh yes, it's kind of different. Oh, this is good. This is a bit earthier, less sweet, so less cardamom but oh this is good think about a middle eastern coffee guys that's what this smells like if that even remotely smells sounds good you're gonna love this and if you love this you're gonna die for killian's intoxicated i just wish it lasted a little bit longer intoxicated lasts like four to six hours on me oh this is so freaking good man this is my favorite of the, all of these fragrances you know what this reminds me of a little bit too I'm going to show you guys real quick. Zerzhov Starlight. I had this out because I did a Christmas scent of the day video. This is going to be my Christmas scent of the day. And it has cloves, cardamom and stuff like that, uh, almond. And just gives me like this vibe of Middle Eastern coffee. But this one took it to a whole nother level because it actually has coffee in it. This is gorgeous. This is very, very sexy. Very unisex as well. For you ladies out there, all three of these were unisex. Um, the other two... I will say that the Richwood dupe fascination is unisex as well. Ladies, you can rock this. Absolutely, you can rock this. The only one that I would suggest to be slightly more masculine would be Resurrection. However, the Oud and Kelly Matt is also pretty unisex as well. So far, the most impressionable is your drugged. This one, I am actually going to use. I'm actually gonna use this, and that's saying a lot. That sums up this haul video, y'all. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I hope this helped you decide some of your next purchases, and if it did, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, and until next time, peace.